How you doing? This is a six-part video series on how to make hot compost in a compost tumbler. You can use a variety of materials and I use a compost calculator to figure out how much of each material to use. This method produces results in about four weeks. We'll get into all the details in a minute but basically I wanted to describe what you do. In hot compost you get all these ingredients together at once, mix them up, and in 28 days you get this. So what happens between the beginning and the end is what I'm going to show you in these videos. Remember to watch all six of them and thanks for watching. Okay, so this is what I use to make compost. It's a compost tumbler. I have it, uh, a barbecue grill cover on it. Um, this is on the side of my house, so I don't want to uh, piss off the neighbors uh, by having some kind of messy compost thing going. This is uh, a great method for making compost fast. In a, a, a pile compost system, whether it be cold composting or hot composting in a pile, you know, they always talk about a three by three foot by three foot compost um, pile. This is a 55 gallon drum. I'll show it to you in a second. I made it. It works great. I really haven't found any good sources um, that explain what to do. So I've done this several times in the past year and this I've got it to the point where it works great all right all I did was take the cover off of it the cover by the way does a couple things one I happen to like that it's black because you can as you can see right here it's sunny so it's right next to the side of my house and for half of the day it gets hot on this side of the house, sunny. So that black cover helps heat that up. The other thing I need to cover is because it's under the soffit or the eave and it just gets rained on. I want to control the moisture in that tumbler. I don't want a bunch of rain washing everything out. So whenever I'm using it, that cover stays on. Now, as far as the tumbler goes, it is um, it's homemade. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of good tumblers out there. They work great. This one is perfect for what I do. <clears throat> it's got a um, little hinged opening. You can see down in there. It's just a bar, and it. Uh, just turns on the um, on the bar. There's nothing fancy about it. It's very simple. It's all like stainless steel hardware. You know, it's kind of just get rusty. And, uh, gets kind of messy when this is when you're making uh, compost. So um, the stainless steel doesn't get all rusty. What's really important about this is that this is the the upside, the top side. So if this is the top side, you can see you got air holes on the side, okay? Now if I turn this to the bottom, there's no holes. I don't want everything in there leaking out. I want to control the moisture. If it gets too dry, I'm going to add some water. If it gets too wet, I can either turn it so these holes are facing down and you're just drain in the little bin and if you see this door it's actually it's not airtight it's not perfect that's fine because all I have to do is turn it upside down and let it drain some and you got to keep uh, compost you know um, they say like a, a wrung out wet sponge that's the moisture level that um, is good to go by. And then on the side, um, 
Uh, there's some more air holes. I don't know if you can see those right there. And I've got some more on this side. Because, um, because you turn this and open it up and check out what's going on in there, I haven't had to, or I haven't had any problems with, uh, you know, oxygen getting in there. It's been fine. The other thing is I've got handles. So, you know, if you've got two hands, you pull pulling on this one. There's another handle. You just go back and forth and give it a couple turns. It gets pretty heavy when it's full. So these handles work out great. So this video isn't about a tumbler though, but I, I wanted to show you what I used. Um, let's get all the ingredients together and start a batch. All right, now before we get into all that, <clears throat> what I did is I took a little compost and I put it in a, a, a just a metal strainer. Um, and I want to illustrate one thing about compost. Compost is not really a fertilizer. Um, it's broken down, humus it gets a little bit closer to uh, basic elements like carbon, um, uh, humic acids, you know, the, the, the more it gets broken down uh, the better it has um, the ability to hold moisture. And you, I think everybody would agree compost added to the soils is great for retaining moisture. And it's not just moisture. When <clears throat> you add fertilizers, organic fertilizers, or any fertilizer for that matter, um, Compost helps retain those in the soils. I do vegetable gardening, so I want the, all the organic stuff I put in, all the organic fertilizers I put in the soil to remain there. And this is just going to illustrate a point about holding moisture. I'm just going to use my garden hose. This is pure compost, so it's not exactly like garden soil. But see, I'm adding water to it. And it's holding, it's holding the water. And now it's starting to drain out a little bit. If this was like pure sand or something other than compost, that water's going to wash right through it. And you can see... It's, it's kind of becoming a little muddy, and it's, it's holding that, that moisture, whether that be moisture or fertilizer, nutrients, whatever you put in your soil, compost is going to help keep it in. So when you hear about compost being or helping with water retainage, this is what they're talking about. Now as long as we're at this, I want to wash everything out of here and see what um, the bigger particles are that, that was left um, at the end of this compost process. So I'm going to do that. You can see how many small particles got washed out of there. Now if I look at this, there are still little pieces of, you know, straw, little roots. Um, let's see what else is in here. see some of the a lot of little biochar particles which is great there's one right there you can, you can break it up I can barely break it up but I can break it up and I can tell that's a little piece of biochar um, 
you can see how broken down this is. There's nothing there. There's nothing real big. You know, there's a little piece of stick, whatever. Um, but that's a, a great sign of compost being finished, cured, and ready to use. So now that I showed you that, let's get started on making some compost.